Well, hello and welcome back everyone to another Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm YuGeek1 and today we're gonna take a look at Magic the Gathering Arena. I really love this game, I played a lot of Magic back in the day as well. So I think I will just go ahead and try a game out. So uh, let's continue. Um, let's try to play a game. And I'm just gonna go for the ladder. <clears throat> Uh, I think it runs really smoothly. I have no issues running it. It was a bit funky when you want to install it, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so let's see here. We have uh, just two mana sources. So um, should we do a mulligan perhaps? I'm gonna go first as well. I think we have to mulligan. Get even more mana screwed. <laughs> And here we have mana, but not many card draws, so... Uh, I'm gonna toss the shock. We need some more mana. Uh, excuse me, card draw. Uh, let's see what we're up against. So red-white. Uh, we can play the gate here. Probably something aggressive. Yeah. We really need some uh, something else here. The drakes are good, but I'm expecting them to have a lot of burn as well. And I have no spells in the graveyard, so they are pretty useless right now. <laughs> Well, you can get some card draw from that and get even further behind. Uh, we got that, but it's quite a late game card. So uh, we could just toss it to give our dude um, some one attack, but that seems really useless as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna play another one and uh, pass the turn here. So even further behind now. <laughs> I'm not looking any promising in this game. And he can draw some cards here. We could get back if we just would get like uh, one card draw. Uh, that's not one, but now we can draw one card with this and uh, that will give our dudes some more attacks. So that's pretty decent. Uh, not how you want to use this card, but um, better than nothing here. I'm gonna use this on uh, that one because it's gonna be even bigger, and I'm gonna draw the cards. Oh, that's really good. We can get some attack on that one. And um, they're not very much damage, so on the drakes now, so I'm just gonna pass it right here and uh, use them for blocking instead. It's even more card draw. <laughs> we need to remove that quickly now. <clears throat> and another one of those. <laughs> Luckily, we can't pay it for now. He is going in for the attack. I don't really agree with that opponent. He's canceling. It doesn't make that much sense. So. I don't want to discard the cards, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack with one of the drakes here. Get one damage him and draw two cards. Uh, Electromancer is good, we can play uh, some cheaper spells that way. So I'm gonna use the Electromancer and I'm gonna play the tap land. Uh, really a shame, we can draw very many cards here. Very not good for us. We can block some things here, but it's gonna get in with a lot of damage. So let's see here. Uh, that obviously goes there. We can kill that. The question is do we want to sack the Necro uh, Electromancer? As it stands now, we have no uh, spells whatsoever, so it doesn't do very much for us here. I do want to remove that one because that one spawns another one. And uh, we're gonna take everything else. That was 
that's not very good. Um, we're gonna play. Let's see here. Do we have uh, more red? Yes, we do. We can play that one. Play that. Play that one. If he has another one of those, we are pretty screwed. But we have to block here. Really behind. Here, if you want, you probably do. He's tapping out, but it's good for us. If we get one card draw, we can come back from this. That's a card draw, that's very good. So let's try to just start removing the stuff. Just Doing it. And that's a very good card as well. Um, this might turn this game around. And we do want to draw more cards with that. It's gonna deal a lot more damage. Let's remove that. burn or draw a card. I think we just want to go ahead and burn him and use um, this one and we we'll get to kill another thing. Um, I can't do it on his turn though. Um, in case of him having another um, buff thing I am gonna just pass here because on the following turn I will win with the charge and crackling dawn. So I'm just gonna block whatever, f uh, whatever thing he does, and probably survive that. If he doesn't have any burn, then we're screwed. <laughs> it's a very tight game. What's pretty mana screw there for a second, uh, or card draw screw, you can call it. Um, this deck really depends on having a lot of card draw. I do like uh, the. I shot the cores more than the Chemics Insight, so I'm gonna probably replace those because it's way, way cheaper and uh, oftentimes you can just play it for one with the uh, Electromancer. Let's see what the opponent does. Maybe he knows that he lost this. Need Miss it can be a really game changer if you get it rolling. If we didn't get the card draw there, we would have been. We have lost the game. No doubt. Yeah, the opponent probably is giving up, it looks like. Um, but it, this deck is very fun. Uh, you can uh, really make a swing win, uh, if you can call it like that. You can play a lot of spells, and you see they are pretty huge, these drakes already. And uh, when you have like this much mana, you can just say you play the Cracking Drake here and just give it a uh, charge, and you can swing for often like 10 or 12 or something like that, and just win the game by one turn. So it's really fun, uh, but uh, uh, against the control, uh, this deck doesn't do that very well. And he will probably concede here, it looks like. <laughs> A shame we didn't get to swing with all the drakes. That would have been more fun. Yeah. He is out and given up, I guess. Fast. It's my turn. Now we just go ahead to face here. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, mana. Yeah, the opponent is <laughs> has disconnected. 
perhaps Alt F4 or something like that. We won that just barely. <laughs> was very close. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go to the installment then. So thank you for this one. See you in the installation.